Miti. So, small and adorable, aren't they? Well, they are small. These are the TIAC. The TIAC L, say with me, S301. And they came with my TIAC 301DA, the little uh, 60 watt per channel amplifier that I used to power my stacks. 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 And I bought that whole combo for like $400. So it was the 60 watt per channel TIAC amp, Bluetooth, and if alone that was like a $300 amp. And oh, I can get it with these speakers for 100 bucks. Okay. Speakers for 100 bucks. I got the amp. I used the amp. I took the speakers out of the box. Hey, this is pretty cool. Look at look, look at the oh, the little coaxial. It's a little coaxial. Isn't that cute? And I put them on the side. And I'm like, all right, I'll review them. And now time came to review them. Gave them their listenings, listenings, and I'm I'm fucking floored by them. Like it's it's not it's not like uh, for their size. And these are these are. Mica MB42X competitors, a little shorter actually, so, uh, just a little bit deeper, and about the same width, a little bit wider because of the curved shape of the box, and it's a coaxial, so that's cool. Although you could kind of see how they came about that situation, where this this looks like the back of a speaker, and they went, oh yeah, look at that, oh, we could put a tweeter there, and they went, no, let's just do coaxial. And then just fuck it, flip the box over. Which is why the speaker wires come up from the top, which is never happens. Okay, good. Now I was figuring, okay, I'll review these speakers. They gave them to me for a hundred bucks. Maybe they're 150 bucks. It'd be, be a good alternative to like Micah's. They're $235 on Amazon right now. And that's marked off from 300. That's a whole lot of fucking money. For a speaker that's employing a four inch with a, and a coaxial little little three quarter, that's that's a lot. That's a lot for something that's so small. So what can they do? And the only thing I can tell you is, you know, Kef, right, with the coaxial. These remind me of those because those and they're up there, Q one hundreds, did the things that I was like amazed for a box that size it could do, and this does things that I'm amazed for a box of this size it can do. Because I, I just did up this, uh, not this cat. Giant Surin Vegas, right? Six inch Surin Vegas. I'm expecting low end and they just, just, just they can roll off and got nothing. They roll off and got nothing. Not bad speakers, but they don't have any low end. So I put these up here and I'm like, all right. <laughs> I'm definitely going to have to integrate the subs into this in order to just be listenable, and it's totally listenable without subwoofers. The port, because you didn't notice, is a, a two-finger port. This is how you guys like me to check ports, I know. Sick bastards. They're expecting there to be a mouse in there and bite my fingers. You're so adorable. Um, gi giant, like, inch and a quarter port. Little tiny four-inch driver. For the price that they're selling them, in other words, I got the greatest deal of the century getting these with that with that amp because these are two hundred and fucking thirty-two dollars or something. That's that's dumb. Do do they sell like they're worth it though? Yeah. Fuck. Zeos is in a quandary now because if it was a small speaker with lackluster performance and way too high a price, I could go on a rant about blah blah blah. It's too expensive, like the SVS. Um, what were the satellites? The SVS satellites that were like 250 a pair. Little tiny things didn't perform as a speaker. They had no low end at all. They were heavy, but and the tweeter was too sharp, and I didn't like them. And these, you get a little tiny box that comes out, and, and all of a sudden... This is just these speakers, no subs. Loudly, by the way, they're taking a lot of power to do it, but this is the Game of Thrones symphony. This is Khaleesi. 
Let's see, let's go to something that I know and that I know will... And this is, again, not playing quietly. They're tonally correct, tiny little speakers that are just kicking the shit out of my big room. So, I mean, I, I, have to, I have to review them accordingly. I have to review them as... <sighs> Black curtain, I can't see what's there. I'm just... That's how speakers should be evaluated, by the way. Black curtain. You don't know what it is. You don't know how much it costs. You just hit play. You go, oh my god. This is an out of phase uh, singing song, so it's, coming, it's not coming dead center. It's wash. We're a wash of sound. Excellently sharp, but not overbearing highs. Looking at this, I would go, ah, oh, that tweeter's gonna hurt. You're gonna hurt. You're like a Canto Ben, and it's nothing like a Canto Ben. It's just this little, little pleasant sounding box. This is pleasant as fuck. Next track, random. Miss Bay. Lay down. Listen to music. I have... I, uh, there's one review of these on Amazon as of the taping of this. It's approximately 10, 10 words long. Sounded muddy. Listen for five minutes and return them. You fucking idiot. I'm calling out that one person. These don't sound muddy in the slightest. Unless both his tweeters are broken. I mean, I'm in Zeo's Pantera's big room. Big room. And I'm like, oh, speakers are up. Maxine uh, Siren who does the Where Is My Mind from the end of season one of Mr. Robot. Great. Fucking track pick, by the way. This is Overture with an O-U. I, I don't, I don't follow. I don't follow how this is happening. I mean, I usually am pretty good at like, oh, I can say, oh, well, they're using this base. I, fuck it, four range. When I originally got the setup, the, the TAC amp and these speakers, I said, oh good, these speakers will be a throwaway item, I'll review them, they'll get meh, and then I'll just sell them on the yard sales, which hadn't been thought of then, and I'll be good. But no, nay nay, what's happening with these now, since they're so small and so light, and although they do require a lot of power, I think you will be the birth of a new boombox. Remember the boombox? No one remembers the boombox. But Z used to manufacture boomboxes. I used to be a pair of Mica MB42Xs with 3M dual lock on a cutting board frame, an SMS LS836, and a security 12 volt battery thing, because 12 volt was super easy. And you'd click it on, and you'd leave the amp on and go click, and it had a little fucking handle, just like my, like this. This is where I got this idea. It was a handle, and you carried around two big Mica MB42Xs, and they would detach, and there was an, a stretchy like power cord thing that curled up in the middle so you could put the speakers left and right. And it sounded great. You know what would sound even better? These motherfuckers on a boombox. These. These. I mean, we're talking about... By the way, these are plastic little pins and one is broken. And I'm gonna have to fix that or replace it with magnets. Because who the fuck wants pegs? I'm, I'm, because uh, uh, the question comes is, okay, they're, they cost a bunch, but what are you, what am I paying for? Assuming you're paying for the sound, you're paying for the sound. That, that's what it sounds like. These sound like the best small form factor speakers I've heard since, since the little baby Yamos right here. The ones that Shinobu with the minigun is standing on. Those... I paid like a hundred and ninety nine dollars. I paid a, I paid a lot of money for these to compare them directly against the SVS satellites to see if the SVS satellites 
were indeed, you know, are they better than, and I bought these, and these shit all over the SRS satellites for about the same money. Shit on them. Not like a, like a lot. Shit on them. So, okay, SRS satellites suck. So now, since those, there hasn't been anything else that's been, like, worthy of looking at. And now these step in, and they look like they got a car speaker in them, and it's black, and I like this, like, the, the aluminum outfit here with the six uh, hex nut bolts in it. And the box is relatively simple. It does have a, uh, it tapers back and it tapers front forward and it's got this width. And it's, you know, it's, it's got the vinyl cover. It's tight. It's tight. It's, you know, it looks tight. I don't know if it looks 232. I didn't guess it at $230. 150, maybe 165, $70 would be the maximum. And that would be like a ripoff. These are 230 something dollars and absolutely worth every fucking penny of it. Can you put them on the desk? Hell yes, you can, little boy. I'm assuming it's a little boy asking. Get something that's... Wait for the volume. Wait for the volume to get gone. I'm not here... They're very loud, by the way. I'm not hearing, like... At this sort of volume level, which I've got that at zero, I've got FUBAR at zero, I've got this uh, IFI uh, preamp, which is not in tube mode currently. Or is it? It is in tube mode currently. But I've got that running and that's about halfway volume. And it's just like, here, wait, we'll see. I'm gonna switch it back off to solid state. Solid state, mofo. Yeah, no, now I'm, now the bass is even more impressive. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. Huh? I don't get it. I don't get, like, wh what the crossover look like in this. I'm kind of curious now. I'm tempted to rip this thing apart and look at the crossover. Because it's got to have something severe to, to do what it's doing. And, and this small, and, and the, the heater's blowing on me, and ugh. So, I mean, I was hoping these would be like the hundred, like a small alternative to like SX6s, or a slightly more refined version of the Mica MB42Xs. And look at them, they're prettier than MB42Xs. MB42Xs are black boxes, which works at some point in your life, and then you realize that black boxes don't make your pee-pee hard, and then you need something else. Even if it's not real wood, you need to, you know, that's pretty. You are pretty. And I shouldn't be getting on my knees in front of anything. I like the way you look. And then you put them in my room and you go, oh, shit. <laughs> I've, uh, uh, Chemical Brothers, Uncivilized World. These are a hard speaker. They make me hard. Because they're, it's another small speaker. Not as pretty as the Yamos. The Yamos. The Yamos. I think those, just for looks sake, were just so violent and awesome. But these probably sound as good. Which is saying something. Which is saying a lot. So, I guess... Congratulations, Internet. You have a new something to look up to. If you can get the speaker bundle. I was originally thinking, okay, I'll buy the TX with the speakers and I'll sell the speakers. Honestly, if you can get the TX with these speakers and sell the TX amp, if you don't need the amp, do that. Because you'll, you'll definitely make more money back selling the amp than you would trying to sell these speakers. Because they don't look like they're worth anything. It looks like they took a speaker and they said, ah, fuck it, let's just make it a coaxial and yeah, throw it in a box. And they're $230 and they're worth every fucking penny of that and you'll never get that back because they don't look like they're worth it. Unless this review hits everybody and all of a sudden they're fucking sold out on Amazon. By the way, they come in black also. Don't be a bitch. Get them in cherry or whatever, maple. It's fake. But it's uh. They sound uh. They sound too good to just like discard them as any other speaker. And they've been sitting here for months and I feel bad because people could have been buying these for Christmas and 
So th again, my bad. I have too much work lined up and it's just, it's affecting my job. That is so loud. How are you not blowing up? These are dumb. Well, these are dumb. They have the same benefits of like a calf where the center tweeter means localization is really fucking accurate because it's all coming from one exact point no matter which way you look at it. Whereas a normal speaker with a tweeter, you have time delay differences and you got to be at the right level for them both to align. So, I mean, fuck. There you go. If you have an absolute need, Chewbacca, you need your medicine, you wait here. If you have an absolute need for smallness, and good quality, these are what you have to buy. Put aside $250 and buy these. I'm gonna put aside nothing because I got them free with my, I'm gonna say I got them free with my TIAC amp and I'm gonna build a little baby boombox and it's gonna be sweet. I'm gonna take it to MAGFest. All right, I'm about to record the sound demo by the way. I, I had to look up the thing, the sound demo. So sound demo's coming up. In the description, if you've never watched my sound demos, what the hell is wrong with you? They're way more informative than my words. My words can only go so far, but microphones do not lie. Although room acoustics lie, and then your headphones will lie to you. But listen to a multiple sound demos, and then you'll understand like at least the way it works. And uh, wallpaper download, which is really tiny and cute, just like these, is in the description. And links to these in both colors, and the Patreon, which... I guess I bought the TIAC. We'll say that that did. But anyway, the TIAC, uh, the Patreon will have yard sales every month from the 1st to the 10th of things that I buy like this that I don't think I need. But I do need these because Boombox is coming. Boombox is coming. So check that out. You also get to see these reviews weeks early. So when I say these are amazing and the 600 people that are on my Patreon see that video first, odds are there won't be any left for the publics. So that's, I've, I've cornered the market on that. Buy, I mean, j just buy. Wait, wait, just, just buy. There's no subwoofer on, ah!